Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Hi Dahlia. Hi Bonnie. How are you beautiful ladies this morning? This afternoon, it's 12.15 here. Yeah, it still feels like morning to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm having tea this morning. Good. Let me rephrase that. I had coffee earlier. Now I've started on tea. Yeah, my lighting's not good, you all, for some reason. This lighting has been up for years, but all of a sudden now, uh, it washes me out. I don't know why, but oh well. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I've been fighting a sinus infection for about four weeks now. I have another doctor's appointment this week. Hi, Jacqueline. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. You all, I have a Timu haul. Um, Timu started um, emailing me months ago uh, when Sharon, I think, first started doing, did her first Timu haul. They started emailing me, and I would never do the the review. Because, and I told them this, if I can't give an honest review, I'm not going to review. And um, so they just continue to, uh, yes, they finally got back to me, Bonnie. They continue to email me. So I thought, okay, uh, we'll give it a shot. But uh, hi, Alex. But you all, it will be an honest review, okay? Now, the products that I got, they limit, They also limited me at this time as to what I could get. They, they picked the products for me to choose from. So um, there's no crafty products, I think, but one, one thing maybe. Um, so it's, it's stuff that, um, I don't know. I normally wouldn't buy. I don't from. Um, well, I, I probably would because um, I've bought stuff like this in the past. But um, this is going to be. Um, thank you all so much. Is that right, Dahlia? It just, you know, I, they're a new company. So they're pushing their products and they're using us YouTubers to help them get business um, because I mean their products are already cheap and with my code that you can use today uh, new users can get 30% off already their low prices yes they're another alley I guess yeah um, and see, I don't, I bought from Allie one time and, um, it took like six months for my product to come in. And, um, so I've never ordered from them again. And then, uh, the dye that I got, I didn't, I didn't like the way it cut or didn't cut. So I never ordered from them again. So I've got a Timu haul here that I'm going to do. And um, as I use the products, I will do a review. Um, that's the only way I know to do it because they're not something that I can just sit down here on my desk and and review it for, for anyone. So, um, yeah. So let's see uh, what all I got, okay? Oh, yeah, Bonnie. 
Well, I've been using Sizzix and Spellbinders Heartfelt Creations for years, I mean years, and I never have a problem with their dyes. So um, they're the ones I usually, uh, I, I tend to stick with. So I don't need to stand up to do this. <laughs> you all don't need to see those spare tires. <laughs> um, so let's get into it, okay? Are you working, Bonnie? Dahlia, are you working today? You want to see? Okay. Well, let's start with a small one. Okay. This is a mobile phone stand. Oh, it's pretty too. I got rose. So let's see how that works. Well, it's standing up, so that's good. That's good. And I love that color. It's a rose color. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. Okay, so we'll set that right there. So now I can set my phone up too as I sit up here. And let's see. I got a selfie stick. Are you on the boat? <laughs> if I ever make it out there, I want you to take me to that boat. So I got a selfie stick. I've never had one of these before. I'm not real good at taking selfies, so maybe this will help. And I got it in pink. Ooh. So how does it work? Uh-oh, my phone ain't going to fit in that. May, well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it will. <laughs> it extends, duh. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll be using that, and I'll do a review for that. Oh, I got this. For my shower doors. I needed one of these and I've never broke down and bought one. It's a squeegee. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, it's a squeegee. It's got a brush. Cool. Yeah, so. Um, as soon as I figure out how to get down, mm -hmm. got a brush. Cool. So I'll review that when I use that on my shower doors. I ordered me an extra mop head for my mop, which I love these, you all. So this is, uh, how much was this? Mm. Well, I can't read it right now. can't find it. It's all booked or flopped together. Hi, Maggie. So good to see you, hon. You're up late. Yes, it will work sideways, too. Yes, Bonnie. Norwax tells you hate the squeezies. Well, I usually use a 100% cotton rag, so... Maggie, how are you doing? I have been a little MIA on YouTube, honey, so I am behind on watching your videos. Yes, but I am. I see your uh, drawings on uh, Instagram. You are so good. Yep, I love these little mops. So I got that. Let's see what else have I got here. What is this? What is this? Let's see. Okay, let's see. It's oh, it's a shirt. 
that I got. And I can already see I didn't order it large enough. <laughs> but my daughter will love this shirt. It'll fit her. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And uh, it's a um, kind of like a spandex. Let's see how. No tags. Here it is. See how you wash it. Gentle wash. Mm -hmm. Do not soak. Do not bleach. Do not tumble dry. I never tumble dry my clothes anyway. Mm -hmm. But you all, oh, no Spam has called me, I don't know how many times today. You wash a lot of windows, so the cost of Norax is good. I know what you meant. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. My daughter will love that. I would have needed a, I got a large. I would have needed a 1X. <laughs> yep. That'll be kind of tight on me, but I love that shirt. So there's that. I think I got another shirt, too, so I probably got it in the wrong size, too. So my daughter's going to get it, too. But anyway, I love the feel of them. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Yellowstone. Well, this one may fit, you all. This one may fit because it's made different. Yeah, this one may fit. Isn't that pretty? Two-tone purple. I like that. If I'm able to wear it, I will do a video on putting it on, too. So that and that there. That's pretty. Mm. And this is what I was excited for the most, you all, was um, these, let me open these. Scissors. Are these um, things that you can put on your appliances? and wrap the excess cord around. I've been wanting some of those anyway, because I've got my um, um, mine tied with a bread tie. <laughs> so I'm anxious to use these. I got five of these and uh, you put this uh, adhesive on it. So I'm anxious to use that. Mm -hmm. Yellowstone, yes. Isn't that a pretty color, Bonnie? Thank you, Maggie. So, got those. I will do a review on those for sure. And then you all, this is the last thing that I got. And it's a bath mat from my bathroom. Mm -hmm. I like these bath mats. I like these kind of bath mats. So, and my tub mm -hmm. is blue. It's so outdated, but um, it's going to take, thank you, Jacqueline. It's going to take so much to replace the tub. And to have bath fitters come in, they would lay another tub over this tub. And it was going to be way too small. It was going to make the tub too small. So we just decided to keep the blue as old as we are. We don't care. So I just try to work around the blue. So that is the um, that is my Timu haul, you all. The items that um, the products that they let me choose from. And um, 
and this seems to be, sorry about that crinkle. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, the, they're on um, dowel rods and um, curtain rods. Um, you remember the curtain rods that you used to be able to get? They were just this, well, I guess you can still get them. And they came with these long um, rod hangers that just you just set the rod down in. And that's what they're on. Uh, if I could zoom in, I would show you. Uh, you might be able to see this one. And then I just stick stuff up there as I use it like that. Clamp. <laughs> I know where they're at that way. I know where the clamps are. Let me see if I can show you uh, one of them. Can you see that uh, rot that hanger right there? And then I get, it takes the little uh, quarter like inch dowel rods and uh, they work perfect. And then there's bigger dowel rods up here, half inch ones. And, and then I put these ends on them just for looks because uh, I don't put them on tight enough to stop anything from rolling off because I don't I don't roll it off. I'm the only one. Um, oh yeah, Bonnie. Uh, good. I'm glad you were able to see it um, because I've had that for years. Um, I started that in started doing that in 2008. That's when I. I, I uh, thought of that, and then I've got um, uh, I've got my. I wish I had this on my phone instead of my PC. I have my punches on curtain rods, uh, the regular curtain rods that come out and hook into the do wacky thingies. Yeah, Bonnie, they they let me choose. They had me set up. Uh, that they limited me, like I said, I, when I tried to bring up the craft uh, part, they uh, mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't let me order anything from there. So I thought, well, I'll get products that, uh, I'm Maggie, I'm Maggie. <laughs> um, I'll get products that um, I've been wanting and just wouldn't break down and buy. So, because, you know, I don't know if these will work or not and and they were free so i'm going to find out and i didn't know if i would like using one of these i've never used one of these before so i didn't know if i would like that or not so i thought well i'll try that out and like i said timu they just kept um they just kept emailing me i mean they've been emailing me for months so hi pat thank you for joining us I just did a little short Timu haul. Yeah. Anybody wants, you know, it's, I've been on here 19 minutes now. Yes, happy Wednesday. Pat, you got me hooked on that Bigelow cinnamon tea. I found it at Walmart and I got me some. <laughs> yeah. I've let this one deep long enough, I think. Let me get this out. Stall, stall a little bit. And I thought, well, I'll just do a quick live and um, do it. So it is, it is. They, it gets them up out of the way. I had them in one of those hanging shoe rack uh, bags that you put on your door, the hanging door shoe rack. And um, mm -hmm. I had so many punches 
that it pulled on my door and it made my door drop over there. So I had to um, do something else. And I thought, well, you can um, spread them out on a curtain rod, but you have to make sure you hit studs. And you all, I have in between like these up here, there's another uh, curtain rod hanger. Uh, to, because they get heavy and you've got to make sure that the weight is um, equaled out. And you, I don't want my rods to sag, so I reinforce them with um, uh, in the middle of this rod is another uh, curtain rod hanger here. And there's one down here. And if you don't put one in the center, then put your, uh, like I did here, uh, Walmart run out of these these rods. So what I did is I just put them closer together. And you can put them closer together and it will still equal out the weight of your ribbon. Yes, Bonnie, you need to show that. We all like easy ways to store. I love to watch a craft room tour because it gives me ideas too. But we were living, we, that's another story, but we had uh, moved down to our farm and was staying in a mobile home for, um, in 2008. We had plans on building a house. And the bottom fell out of housing market and we couldn't sell this one. So, uh, but we were living down there in that, uh, in the trailer. And um, I had just a small room. I mean, a, t a tiny room. So I had to think of ways to do uh, my storage. And so I started with these. I was... Um, hanging a curtain rod. Uh, I was hanging a curtain in that room one day on the window. And I, when I did that, I was like, oh my gosh, would that not be perfect? So I started that. And now I've got five, six, seven, one, two, five, six of those up on the wall. I've got one over there. And then I've got a, uh, I got one of these, we are memory keepers. This was, I got one of these and was going to use it. And I didn't like it. It didn't hold enough ribbon and it just, it just didn't suit me. But I use it because I run out of space. But so I put it up and I use it. And um, I couldn't find, I, I'll have to do a craft room tour for you all. Yes, Bonnie, you need to do a video. Anytime, uh, yeah, I love craft room videos. Yeah. We get ideas. We get ideas and that's, you know, that's what, and I've been crafting now for over 19 years. So I've gathered a lot of stuff. Um, yes, think outside the box. And I, you all probably know I'm crazy about NCIS. And I started watching it many, many years ago. And uh, I was watching it one night in Gibbs was in his basement building a boat. And um, he had, yeah, I know, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, he had his screws in jars and had them to where they would screw up under the cabinets. And I thought, when I saw that, I was like, okay, I've got to steal that idea and put my buttons 
and some other uh, knickknacky things in it and put it under my shelves. So I've got some of those up also uh, to get stuff out of the way. I've, I've used, I've tried to use every inch of space because I, I have so much stuff, so much stuff. 19 years of gathering stuff. So I ended up putting up uh, pegboards because I run out of space to just put stuff in drawers. And when you put it in drawers, you you can't see it. You you know, you just forget that you have it. And, and uh, so it's just, I have jars galore and I have, I have four shelves. Um, and it's just, it's just, yeah. Yes, Bonnie. Yes. Yes. I know when I got this, um, my daughter and I stopped at Ikea one day when we went to Michigan and come back because there's no Ikea close here. I found this desk top it's, it's just the top and um i thought i want that yes if you're not going to use it get rid of it right if you haven't used it for 10 years get rid of it anyway when i brought this in my husband was like where in the world are you gonna put that <laughs> i said well you see those um, storage bins right there? It's going to go on top of those. So I put put it on top of these bins that I had bought at uh, Hobby Lobby used to sell them. And I bought a little here and a little there and a little, you know, just each, each time I got a paid. I would take the 40% off and I'd go to Hobby Lobby and I'd get me one. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah right, Bonnie. Right. Right. I got started crafting my daughter for my 50th birthday got me a scrapbook kit and it got me hook you bought a lot of stuff 10 years ago and you had no <laughs> but you thought you might want to use it you you liked it yeah <laughs> you liked it <laughs> Uh, the the floor is begging for mercy. <laughs> yeah. I started in a small, um, like I said, um, I started small. <laughs> and uh, my girls, uh, when Sarah moved out, I took over this loft bedroom and that's why I call myself the scrapbook loft and the only thing I made then was scrapbooks and uh, boxes to, uh, to to put the scrapbooks in so that's how I ended up in the in the loft area and um, it's 12 uh, by 24 but of course the stairway takes up a whole lot of the of the room <laughs> oh okay Jacqueline by the way Jacqueline Annie Creates is doing a D stash giveaway so I think she's putting up a video today I think I heard her say yesterday she'd be putting one up today she's doing a D stash giveaway Bonnie, if you uh, 
have anything to give away. Jacqueline's in need. I purged in 2019. I purged in 2019. That year, I gave away two ATG guns, two paper trimmers, uh, two Sizzix um, Zyron machines, because uh, I hadn't used them in forever. And in scrapbooking, um, they um, tend to turn loose, so I didn't use them. And after starting to do other projects like MDCs and ATCs and cards and things, the Zyron machines would have come in handy, but I not really miss them. Glue works. Oh, yeah, body. That's too expensive to mail. I'll tell you what I did the year I got rid of paper. I put it in a box. And anybody who wanted it, all they had to do was pay the postage. They paid the postage, they got the paper. Um, doesn't the post office have a pay a, a 12 by 12 box? I thought they did. Walmart has 12 by 12 box. Yeah. <laughs> you need to take it out of the Michael's bag and put it in a box that says, you won. Walmart, I think Walmart has 12 by 12. I think I've got, yeah, I think I bought a box that's 12 by 12. That's interesting, Dahlia. My post office, we have a lady, she's, she's awful. Uh, I was shipping scrapbooks uh, and they, when they asked me what it was, I said, it's a book. Okay. Well, I was shipping so many of them. She said one day, she finally said, what kind of books are these? I said, it's a scrapbook. And she said, um, what's a scrapbook? And I'm like, okay, I, I, it's something that I made. So the next time I went with a book, a, scrap, a scrapbook, I took the book with, I took a book with me to show her what it was. Because, you know, I don't know, I felt like I needed to tell her. And she looked at me, she said, that's not a book. That's not considered a book. Well, you know, you can ship a book pretty cheap. But she started charging me uh, big time for a scrapbook. She said, that's not a book. She said, now, it was a journaling book. I said, well, you can journal in these. You don't have to put pictures in them. You can journal in them. It's made the, pretty much the same way. It's not a book. So she pulls out her paper of regulations, and she goes through the whole spiel of reading off everything that was considered a book. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Um, yeah, she started reading. Uh, yeah, she was trying to see if she can ship via media fees, which are cheap. Yeah. No, she she charged me full. Uh, the book that had been charging me like five or six dollars. Yeah, she was being difficult. Five or six dollars to ship before 
and it ended up costing me 21. Yeah. So I just started going to another post office and I thought I ain't telling them nothing. It's a book. Yeah, she was the head postal window, not the postmaster. Yeah. Yeah, she just and I don't know if she just didn't like me because you all this is so funny. My daughter was married to her boss and they got a divorce. So I don't know. <laughs> she she found out I was Robin's mother and she was just mean. They could care less than New York. <laughs> yeah, she just she was always hateful anyway, but when it come to those books, it just, I don't know. It just, okay. That's fun. Now, nah, I don't do that, Bonnie. I just went to another post office. I mean, it's no big deal. I just went to a different post office. I thought they don't ask any questions. I'm not telling them anything. So, yeah. Well, you all, I have been on here over 30 minutes and I have got to fit. Yeah, it's um, 12. What time is it? <laughs> um, almost one o'clock and I've got to fix some lunch. Yeah, I laid out some uh, chicken this morning. I'm going to cook some chicken and make some homemade chicken salad. Thank you all for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, Robert Young. Whoa. Uh, no, I'd have been said, can I have your, uh, will you sign this receipt, please? <laughs> Is it five there, Alex? Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Almost dinner time for you. Yeah. It's like where Maggie is too. Yeah. Maggie's in. Um, why do I want to say Venice? Thank you for joining us, Alex. I want to thank all of you. Thank you so much. Oh, and in case you all didn't notice. I um I changed my channel name back to just my scrapbook loft. Yeah. I I noticed that in my videos I was was saying my scrapbook loft is just um habit and I wasn't comfortable with the other going through that whole thing. I've used you all I've been on um hi Linda, welcome. I've been on YouTube four years now. Sunday was my fourth anniversary for YouTube. And I just wasn't comfortable with saying anything else. So went back to my scrapbook lot. Oh, cool. I'd be asking him to sign a receipt too. <laughs> so Linda, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I was just uh, signing off. But I'm so glad you joined us. Everybody have a great day. Have a great Wednesday. I'm hoping to do a another video for something today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you all. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.